Okay, guys, here is the lesson eight. Um, here we go. Lesson eight, unit two. Unit two, lesson eight, rather. Okay, the time signature appears at the beginning of the music after the clef sign. Okay, we already know what the clef sign is. All right, it contains two numbers, one above the other. Um, the, upper the upper number tells how many beats or counts are in each measure. In this case, four, so four, four. And the lower number indicates what type of note receives the beats. The, in this case, a quarter note, okay? I always like to think of time signatures as the top number asks the question, how many? And the bottom number is what kind? So how many, what kind? How many, what kind, right? So how many? Four. What kind? Four. So that's four translates to quarter notes if you're thinking one, what kind. So how many? What kind? How many? What kind? If it was four, eight, if that was an eight in the bottom, how many? Four. What kind? Eighth notes. So there would be four eighth notes per measure. If it was five, four was the time signature. How many? Five. What kind? Four. So that means there would be five quarter notes per measure. Getting a little ahead. But for some reason, time signatures, once you get beyond 4-4, four, four, could be a little tricky. People don't really think about what the top and the bottom number actually mean. So I like to make sure that I always stress that. Okay. So in 4-4 four, four time, a quarter note is equal to one count or beat. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, and clap the rhythm evenly once per beat. The beat numbers are written under the notes. Also say ta and clap. So for this example, you would just go ta, 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 or one, two, three, four. Okay? So that's what that rhythm is, four quarter notes, right? Half note is equal to two counts or beats. Count and clap the rhythm evenly, holding your hands together for two beats. The beat numbers are written under the notes. Also say ta and a continuous sound or clap. So basically what they're saying is the half note has note length. It's a little bit longer. Quarter notes have note length too, but half notes have a very definite note length. It's two beats long. So if here's your pulse. One, two, three, four. The half note is ta, ta. So it goes through those, that full measure. Two beats on that half note, two beats on that half note. Again, two, three, Four. It's ta ta, and then it's off. So it has length. Those notes actually have length. Okay, the next one. A whole note is equal to four counts or beats. Count and clap the rhythm evenly, hands together for four beats. The beat numbers are written under the notes. Also say ta and the continuous sound and clap. Okay. So again. Just like the half note, a whole note has a little bit longer note value than the quarter note. Okay, so this is going to be a full four measure. So here's the count off. One, two, three, four. Then ta off. So that lasts for four beats, if that makes sense. I'm going to snap through the length of the whole note this time. One, two, here we go. Ta Okay, so that's basically how the whole note works. It lasts for four uh, beats. All right, here we go. A little bit of uh, notation math here in the exercises. Add the following notes to get the total number of beats. Half note plus a quarter note. That's two in the half note plus one for the quarter note for a total of three. Two for the half note, two for the half note for a total of four. Two for the, I'm sorry, one for the quarter note, two for the half note for a total of three. Four for a whole note, one for a quarter note for a total of five. Two for a half note, four for a whole note for a total of six. Four for a whole note plus four for a whole note for a total of eight counts, okay? So just adding up the counts. All right. Number two, draw bar lines, a double bar line at the end, and stems on the appropriate notes in the following example so that there are four beats in each measure. Count and clap, say using ta, etc., and clap, okay? So, let's just do our bar lines first, right? 
So that's a whole note right there. So that's going to be four beats. That's going to be all you can fit in that measure. And they kind of give you the numbers down here. So you know there's four beats. Draw your bar line. And if you wanted to think about, let's just do the stems at the same time. So here's obviously a quarter note because there's no note that's just a filled in dot with no stem. So that's going to be a quarter note. Stem going up since it's under the middle line. If it's on or above the middle line, remember the stem goes down. Um, so that's one, two, three, four. So we can't fit any more beats in that measure because that's four. There's nothing else that can go there. Here, we've got a half note and a half note. All right, so we'll add that stem there. Okay, we will fill out that measure because again, two half notes, two plus two equals four. There's nothing else that can go in that measure. Once it's once a measure's full, that's all you can put in it. All right, next here, we've got, boom, four quarter notes. One, two, three three, four, and the bar line right there that I already drew. And then you've got another half note here. And it's the directions were to draw a double bar line. So we'll start with a nice thick line, put a thin line, there's our double bar line. And now let's go ahead and count this out. All right, one, I'm gonna tap my pencil for the rhythms, and I'm gonna follow along with my pen. I'll give a count off, here I go. One, two, here I go. Ta 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 There you go. And if you have any trouble with that, um, or if you want to get a little bit better at your other reading, go ahead and try that again and make sure you can easily follow along with those rhythms and clap along or say taz with those rhythms if if that if you struggle with that at all if, if you get anything less than a hundred percent um you need to do a little bit more work on that all right number three here we go write the four four time signature and fill in the missing beats if any okay by adding only one note per measure okay count clap Count and clap, say and clap. All right, so let's write our four four in so we know it's a four four time signature. They've already got the bar lines in. So here's a half note, right? And we can only add one note per measure. If that rule wasn't there, we could do two quarter notes here. I think they have only one note per measure to kind of um, eliminate your choices. So it's not really a super creative exercise. It's just what's left. So here there's two beats left. So you know that's got to be a half note, okay, because the half note is your 2B1. Let's draw our half note in. Right here, um, a quarter note plus a half note is 3. So there's only one beat remaining in this 4-4 four, four measure, right? Um, so that's got to be a quarter note on beat 4, right? Because you've got 1, 2, 3, so that's got to be on 4. It's not going to be on 3 because you have a half note on 2. All right, here we go. Next measure, 1, 2, 3 quarter notes. There's only one beat remaining, so that's got to be a quarter note again on beat four. All right, let's take a look at the next measure. There's nothing in this measure. Um, since we can only do one po note per measure, that's got to be the glorious whole note. Okay, here we go. Next one, uh, we've got a half note, quarter note, and then it's going to have to be a quarter note again on beat four. And for the final measure, we have two quarter notes, so that's going to be a half note starting on beat three. Okay, so let's uh, let's go through and clap this rhythm out. I'm going to do it the same way as before. Um, I'm going to give one measure of count off, and then I want you to also clap or say taz along with me using the note lengths indicated. And again, if you have trouble with this, pause it and do it again until it, until you can accurately read these rhythms. One, two. Ready, go. Ta, 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 done. So there you have it. That is Unit 2, Lesson 8, page 12 in Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, Book 1.